Hi there. Now for this first question we've got to find the exact value of x for which the log of 2x in base 2 equals the log of 5x plus 4 in base 2 minus 3 for 4 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, for this first part, first of all what I'll do is we'll just copy out the question. We've got the log of 2x then in base 2 equals the log of 5x plus 4 in base 2 and then minus 3. Now to solve an equation that involves logs, if you've been watching my previous tutorials, which you can find on my website, you'll know that we need to reduce this down to two terms. At the moment we've got three terms, one here, one here, and then the minus three for the third term. So to do this, we need to bring the logs to one side. So I'm going to, let's say, keep this term positive. I'm going to add three to both sides and subtract log of 2x in base 2 from both sides. So what I get then is the log in base 2 of 5x plus 4 and then minus log of 2x in base 2 okay and that would equal 3. I've still got my three terms at the moment but now that I've got the logs on both sides, I've got one log minus another log. I should be familiar with the rule that this is the same as dividing 5x plus 4 by the 2x. So it's the log of 5x plus 4 divided by the 2x. And this is all in plate base 2. And it equals the 3. So what I've now got is an equation with two terms in. This is one term equals on the other side another term. And when you reach this stage you should now be able to anti-log. Okay, remove this log here. And you should be familiar with the fact that this value here 5x plus 4 upon 2x okay, would be equal to the base which is 2, and that is raised to the power 3. Okay, a basic rule for logs when you anti-log them. Okay, so now that we've got this, 2 cubed is 8, so all I've got to do is multiply both sides by 2x. So I end up with therefore 5x plus 4 equals the 8 multiplied by the 2x which is going to give me 16x. Okay. Now if I subtract 5x from both sides, what I'm going to be left with is 4 equals 11x. Okay, 4 equals 11x, and then all I need to do is just divide both sides by 11. So therefore, x equals 4 elevenths. It says find the exact value of x, so I'm just going to leave it then as x equals 4 elevenths. Okay, well that's part one. Let's just border that off and we can now move into part two. And for part two, we're given that the log of y in base a plus three times the log of two in base a equals five. And we're asked to express y in terms of a. Give your answer in its simplest form for three marks. So I'll give you a moment then if you'd like to try this. Just uh, pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, just copy this down, okay? That is that we've got the log of y in base a plus three times the log of 2 in base a equals 5. And to do this again, in order to simplify it, I've got to reduce these three terms down to two terms. Well, I've got the logs on the same side, so that's a start, but I've got this 3 in the front of the log here, and so I need to remove it. 
and you should be familiar with the rule that allows us to do that and that is that we can take the 3 up as a power of the 2. So this is the same as the log in base A of 2 to the power 3, 2 cubed and that equals 5. Well this is clearly 8, 2 cubed is 8. Uh, let's just write that in okay that we've got the log in base A of y plus the log in base A of 8 and that equals 5. Now when we've got one log plus another log again you should be familiar with the rule that this is the same as multiplying our two values together so it's going to be the log of 8y in base A and this equals the 5. So we've got a similar situation to what we had here. We now need to anti-log and so therefore we have got 8y must be equal to the base which is a raised to the power 5. And so to get y all we need to do is divide both sides by 8 and we get y equals 8 to the power 5 then divided by 8. And there's your answer.